Traditional cultivation and sowing techniques have caused erosion by wind, rain, and the severe breakdown of soil structure. This, combined with continual tractor passes, have formed compacted layers beneath the surface, which combine to seriously limit plant growth and yields, prevent water absorption, reduce or eliminate helpful microbes and earthworms, reduce aeration, destroy soil humus, increase salinity, and expose soil particles to erosion. Soil compaction is a form of soil degradation. It strangles the life out of the soil and severely impacts yields. Yield losses of up to 40% are not uncommon, and in extreme cases, by as much as 80% where severe erosion can occur. Soil compaction or hard pan formation is caused by typical farm cultivation activities. What's more, cultivation breaks down soil aggregates, structure, porosity, and humus. This hard pan reduces healthy plant growth and restricts root penetration. Hard pans can occur at any level in the soil. This hard pan has formed just inches below the surface and forms a barrier blocking water entry and restricting root growth. This satellite image shows the result of subsoiling in a traditionally farmed area. You can see the water logging and selenium buildup in the non-subsoiled areas. A lot of my producers have been farming their land for 80 to 100 years uh, or thereabouts. They're, they're running into um, severe, severe compaction and I can see that when I'm out there soil sampling, I run into a, a basically feels like a cement floor. Uh, and if I can't get through it, plant roots aren't going to get through it. Oh, the soil compaction is impacting our yield significantly. Um, these plants, um, they either get waterlogged in, in rainy situations, um, but, but they just they, they hit this barrier and grow sideways and end up uh, dying or, or looking for more water and more nutrient. And they can't um, infiltrate the soil and, and water infiltration too. Um, you know, that, that's why we're running into uh, sloughs flooding and uh, these troubled areas. The AgroPlow soil care system was developed in Australia where drought conditions demand the most stringent agricultural practices. The erosion cycle can be dramatically mitigated with AgroPlow's soil care system of farming. It's been developed to provide farmers with better returns from their crops and livestock. Our soil care system advocates no or minimum tillage. Farmers know all too well that tillage is the prime cause of soil degradation and moisture loss. Our line of specially developed agroplows and agrodrills allow you to obtain the best advantages of non-inversion tillage and direct drilling practices. Agroplowing or non-inversion tillage lifts and shatters the hard pan without soil inversion and mixing of the A, B, and C horizons in the soil structure, and all done with minimal soil surface disturbance. The result? Minimal moisture loss to the atmosphere. The topsoil remains virtually undisturbed and is not mixed with less fertile subsoil. This leads to improved water filtration, humus levels, soil structure, and sustainable productivity. Root development is enhanced by an unrestrictive soil environment. These plants were picked from the same field. The plant on the left was taken from an area that was subsoiled, while the plant on the right was not. Notice the healthier green color in the stem, stronger root development, double the amount of tillering and larger heads on the plant that has been subsoiled. Results were dramatic, they were visual results. We saw that the, uh, the treated areas had differences visually in, in the height of the crop and the color of the crop and the size of the heads. Um, and we noticed that uh, it was in one year uh, we saw that impact. And I'm thinking that uh, you know even years out we're gonna see more and more um, improvements in the crop just because the soil has to get itself back in a steady state. The soil is, is, a, is a system and uh, we, we view this as uh, a way to help that system out. The agroplow is used for primary tillage on a three to four year rotation. This translates to lower fuel and labor costs, reduced machinery wear and tear, and higher yields. Based on what I've seen, uh, it, it could easily um, add 10 to 15 bushels uh, to somebody's yield at the end of the year. Uh, it could promote maturity, um, better root growth is what we're really trying to capture here. 
The agroplow shatters the soil structure between the shanks, eliminating the hard pan. This results in a looser soil structure that allows for easier root penetration and increased moisture retention. The narrow edge on the tine design substantially reduces tractor horsepower requirements. The low angle digging tool and narrow shank ensure that the previous crop's root system are fully retained in the soil. The system can be used both in pasture land and cropping applications. AgroPlow's direct drilling system is used to establish crops and pastures where there is no prior tillage. It prevents soil from being exposed to wind and water erosion. In traditional systems, the action of the disc slices the soil and moves it to one side. The seed is then dropped into the furrow combined with surface trash and then pressed tight into the opening. The trash often rots, taking the seed with it. Other problems are poor penetration of the disc in hard soil conditions, little or no soil covering the seed, drying soil due to moist soil exposed to the surface, and smearing the sides of the furrow in wet conditions. The secret of the agro drill is the inverted T or Baker Boot soil opener. It produces the most ideal environment for maximum seed germination, plant establishment, and moisture retention. The seed is placed with the combination of the coiled tine and the baker boot. The vibrating action of the tine produces a fluffing effect as the baker boot opener places the seed in the vapor chamber. The narrow surface opening reduces moisture loss. Compacting is virtually eliminated as the opener passes through the soil. When coulters are used, soil disturbance is minimized and trash handling is improved. The agro drill is constructed with very strong coil tines with a high breakaway force. These maintain the crucial digging angle and position of the soil opener. Zero cultivation avoids degradation of the soil structure, which allows for increased organic matter and aeration with time. Soil compaction is minimized, thus maximizing moisture retention. Another benefit? Fewer weeds. No soil disturbance between rows reduces weed germination. The agro drill is designed to meet a wide range of grazing and mixed farmer needs. Whether it's pasture renovation, summer crops, cereals, or legumes, the agro drill maximizes seeding versatility. Compared to conventional cultivation, direct drilling will save time and money. It will lower replacement costs on plants and equipment. Uh, we've improved old pasture. Uh, we sprayed it out with Roundup and we direct seeded triticalian with the agroplow drill and uh, it was uh, very unlevel ground, uh, lots of badger holes, mole hills, gopher holes, extremely rough and uh, the germination on it was just incredible. I, I couldn't even anticipate that it would have sowed on that uneven ground like it did but it sowed on uneven ground and uh, just had tremendous germination with the triticale. We planted uh, smooth brome, meadow brome, alfalfa and sandfoin and we've got 30% of it is the legume and we did that to help sustain the nitrogen level in the soil just to eliminate our fertilizer costs. The best expectations we had were exceeded by the results. We had uh, crop come out of the ground uh, within 10 days we had seedlings up. Uh, it was a one pass uh, application. Uh, it saved us money on passes. We have neighbors that are trying to establish grass from cropland like we did, and they had passed over it five or six times by the time they actually got the seed in the ground. We probably sowed a little bit less per acre, uh, somewhere around 30% less per acre because of the germination uh, with the agroplow is very good. So uh, we also saved on, on seed costs too. Traditional farming methods produce the same tired results year after year. With the AgroPlow revolutionary farming system, you will enjoy superior crop yields, minimal soil disturbance and moisture loss. In short, all the best advantages of non-inversion tillage and direct drilling practices. Farmers have said it best, improved soils, capital cost savings up to 40%, longer grazing time, flexibility in cropping programs, and most importantly, reduced production costs. Learn more about AgroPlow today 
and see how you can benefit from this revolutionary farming system.